Hey guys, welcome back to another UiPath tutorial. We are going to learn how can you switch between browser tabs. This is our first agenda and the second agenda that we have, how can you switch between applications. So in my background you can see I have got multiple tabs which are open. So how can you achieve this on UiPath? How can you switch between tabs? And similar way, how can you switch between applications? So let's get started. Let's go to the studio. And the activity that we need is use application browser. In case you do not see this activity, hit on the filter option and then hit on something. There will be something called show modern. If you are running a classic design, then you will find something called show modern. Enable that and you should be able to use this activity. I am already in the modern design. Now the first thing I should do, indicate application to automate. Very simple. So here is the uh, uh, browser. I am going to indicate the browser and click anywhere in the browser. The moment I do this, it is going to capture all the required selectors for that browser and it understood that it has to work on this browser. Okay. So once it does it, my goal is to switch between browser tabs. Now for this, I would be using another activity called keyboard shortcuts. So let me type keyboard shortcuts okay so this is the activity this is the again a modern design activity so let me drag and drop this activity and here this keyboard shortcut is going to take all the parent uh, selector so this is known as a partial selector so it is using all the partial selection it is already capturing all the details from the parent one so this becomes the parent uh, selectors and it automatically gets it without me indicating that Okay, because I am in the do block of this. Now here what I will do, I will use something called add a shortcut manually. Okay, now to switch between tabs, what you do, you generally use control tab. Simple, the same thing I am going to implement, I will hit on control and go to the drop down and select tab and add it. Okay, so just by doing this, what would happen, the control tab will be executed on that browser, it will go move on to the next one. Okay, so now let me use a simple delay activity. Okay, just to see so that we can see it properly while it changes the window. And I'm going to provide, uh, let's say, some three seconds, two or three seconds. Let's say three seconds. All right, and then I would repeat this. So let me copy this, highlight this delay, and Control V paste it. Okay. Similar way, I want to repeat it some two, three times. So let me copy both of this. Copy, highlight this, paste. Fine. If you need one more time, just do it. Just we will see how it is switching. So in place of this delay or in between these uh, control tab, you can have your own activity, such as you want to click on something on that page, then move on to the next one, do something on that page, then move on to the next one. So all these activities can be placed if you know the keyboard shortcut is going to help you. Okay, so let's run it and see how that is switching tabs. Okay, now you can see it has switched to the second tab automatically. Let's wait for three seconds. Okay, it has went to the third tab now and the fourth tab. Okay, so you can see how it is switching between tabs automatically through this workflow. So let's go back and now let's work on our second agenda which is switching between applications. So this is simple. Now tell me for switching between applications, do you need a keyboard shortcut or you don't need it? For example, I have three different applications open. One is let's say calculator. The other one is let's say paint. And the third one, third application is let's say notepad. These are the three applications I want to switch. So all you need, you do not really need a, a keyboard shortcut. You can just go with the use application browser. Okay. So I've got three applications and for all the three applications, the selectors are different. So that's why I need to use three different use application browser. Okay. Now for the first one, let's say I want to first open the calculator so let me keep the calculator in the background and then hit on this indicate application automate and then highlight calculator okay 
and the same thing let me repeat now the next uh, application that I want is let's say paint um, so let's go back to the studio and then for the second use application browser I'm going to indicate paint done now the third one let's say I want the notepad let's go back and hit on indicate and select the notepad okay so now I am not using a keyboard shortcut reason being this use application calculator would bring bring it to the foreground so let's see it okay so let me run it so what is the uh, background application if I do alt tab notepad is there but I, this time the calculator should come up okay so let's run it and let me minimize everything okay now you can see first thing which has come is calculator and then the second thing which has come is the paint it happened very quickly the third thing which, uh, which has come is notepad okay so this is one of the way anyone who is interested to experiment probably um, you know they can use this so use application itself would bring it to the foreground so thank you so much guys for watching it we are going to come up with more such interesting contents for you thank you take care bye bye